Hello friends, welcome to Code Semantic and welcome to this new video tutorial. This video tutorial is about debugging in Visual Studio. So, when you go through this tutorial, definitely you will understand the advantages of debugging your code and as well as it will help you to understand the various tools and techniques which are available in Visual Studio. So, let's start. First of all, we will see what is debugging. Debugging is a process to correct the bugs which are found during testing. Now, what is bug? Bug is an error in software system which gives an unexpected result. Okay, so debugging is helpful when you are trying to find out why, what causing this unexpected result. Okay, so basically there are three types of errors in your code or in your program one is syntax error then logical error and third one is runtime errors or you can also call it as exception so syntax errors are basically determined by the compiler itself means if you write a wrong syntax compiler will immediately inform you and according to that you can correct it so basically syntax errors do not allow us to compile uh, run your program or to execute your program then runtime errors actually occurs when your program is in execution state and it abnormally terminates the code or it abnormally terminates your program. So to handle the exception or runtime errors, we use try catch block. Here, debugging is basically related to finding out the logical errors. Now, what are logical errors? Logical errors means your program is syntactically good. It is working fine. There are no runtime errors or exception, but it is not giving you an expected result or desired result. So to find out that, we generally prefer to do debugging. So debugging is helpful to fix your logical error. Okay. Now let us see in which scenario you will prefer the debugging. As I said, to fix the logical errors, we generally use debugging techniques and tools and the another reason is that to understand the execution flow of an existing application okay so suppose you are working on any support or maintenance project in that case you want to understand an existing functionality of your application in that case also you can use debugging okay so so that's it about the debugging introduction from the next video onwards, we will see this part in more detail. Thank you for watching.